What's your holy crap that's interesting fact? For one 600 billionth of a second when a hydrogen bomb detonates, it is 100 million degrees celsius, the core of the sun is 15 million degrees celsius. All I got from that is there is a very fine line somewhere far away from the explosion, that if you put a pizza outside on just the right place, it will be done in a matter of a couple of seconds. Most people know that dogs have a really good sense of smell, but I recently did some research into the full extent of it. 40% of the brain goes entirely to their sense of smell. They have a completely different organ that is designed purely to take in the smell, separately from the oxygen they breathe. Unlike humans, we process it together. To put this into perspective, we can taste a teaspoon of sugar in our coffee. They could smell a teaspoon of sugar inside two Olympic-sized swimming pools. A cancer alert dog kept marking to one mole on a woman's arm. They had already tested it and it was negative. They decided to retest due to the dog's behavior, and found an incredibly small fraction of a cancer cell in the spot. In the 70s, in the USA, it was believed that infants didn't feel pain. My first operation was in 74, when I was a day old, to shove a sack full of exposed nerves back into my spine, spina bifida myella meningosal. Ah yes, because when an infant cries when you're cutting them open they were just joking. LOL. I'm glad the medical field has gotten better. According to linguistic and genetic evidence, the first settlers of Madagascar came not from Africa, but from what is now Indonesia. Makes more sense when you look at a map of ocean currents, but yeah, crap's wild. Austronesians are actually apparent quite far out. You have Madagascar, Maritime Southeast Asia, Micronesia, Coastal New Guinea, Island Melanesia, Polynesia, and even Taiwan. All the same ethnic groups spread out across oceans. In the time it takes you to read this sentence, you've traveled approximately 2200 miles through space relative to the cosmic background radiation. I've done what now? Apple seeds do not yield the same apple it came from. Every apple seed yields a completely unique apple. If you want the exact same apple, you have to cut a branch off the existing apple tree and graft in onto another tree. Also true of avocados as well as a number of other fruiting plants. Pineapple contains bromelain. Bromelain is an enzyme that fulfills a proteolytic function. It degrades proteins producing amino acids that make it up. So that stinging you feel when you eat pineapple is because the pineapple is also eating you. In Soviet Russia. Plasma used to cut steel plate is hotter than the surface of the sun. Source and plasma system operator, among other things. Follow up fact. Fusion and the core of the sun generates around 275 watts per cubic meter. That's about the same power output per volume as a compost heap in summer. Way less than a human. At 100 watts for 75 liters, or 1300 per cubic meter. I find it really interesting that we have around 5-10 pounds of bacteria living in our intestines. These bacteria play a vital role in digestion and are responsible for creating certain vitamins, such as B12. One of the reasons Germany didn't invent nukes first was because a few Norwegians sabotaged one of their bases and stunted their progress. Sharks are older than trees. Individual sharks that we have identified are older than the United States. Dr. Pepper is older than albums of recorded music. Sharks are older than trees. Sounds like the name of a Midwest emo band. The first toothpaste was Portuguese urine. It had the highest ammonia content and only royalty could afford to have it imported. Yes, it had a very high pH number. Almost all P, no H. In Formula 1, the full grid of 20 cars during all practice, qualifying and race sessions over an entire single season will burn less fuel than one commercial flight from London to New York. Haas is the greenest team on the grid, DNFs will save this planet. The James Webb Space Telescope launching later this week is so insanely sensitive it boggles the mind. Some of the things it will be looking at will be 20x dimmer than looking at a 5 watt light bulb on the moon. Even with its massive 6 meter, 20 foot diameter main mirror just a single photon of light will be hitting it per second from the target, 
To put that into perspective, if you look up at a reasonably bright star, even with your pupil being just 8 millimeters across, probably upwards of a million photos are striking your eye just from that star every second. Sharks have been around longer than trees. People live closer in time to T-Rex than T-Rex lived to Stegosaurus. Time is a minfuck. Yep, I know it's been said a lot but the Oxford University is older than the Aztec Empire is the one that blows my mind and everything else seems believable in comparison. Natural redheads of which I am one, have a genetic resistance to anesthesia and unusually high tolerance for pain. I guess the latter is to compensate for the former, anyway, that's why I always had a terrible fear of the dentist, they'd give me the normal dose of Novocaine, then think I was lying when I said it didn't work, fun times, knew I finally found the right dentist when he walked in, took one look at me, and told the tech to load up 4 times the Novocaine, what he called the redhead dose, and I've never had to feel that pain again, note, I shared this on a similar thread maybe a year or two ago, and it got thousands of upvotes, so I guess it was pretty interesting. The 1966 to 1967 UCLA Bruins men's basketball team went undefeated and won the national championship. They were ranked number one throughout the entire season. In those days, freshmen weren't allowed to play on the varsity team, but every year, at the end of the season, the freshman team played the varsity team in an exhibition game. UCLA's freshman team beat the undefeated varsity team by 15 points with a young center named Lou Alcinder, later changing his name to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Horses only breathe through their nostrils and not their mouth at all. It's a minor thing in the big picture, but my mind went boom. Must suck when they catch a cold. Women already have their lifetime supply of eggs in their bodies when they are unborn, inside their pregnant mothers as a fetus, so the egg that would become you as ultimately also existed inside your grandmother via your mother. So the Russian dolls are right. Purple isn't a real frequency of light like red or blue, it's how our brains interpret jumbled frequencies of red and blue light. It seems to be a byproduct of how our brains develop to interpret the light that hits the blue, green, and red cones in our eyes. Another thing that's crazy to me, there are colors in existence that we can't see. Literally colors that we have no concept of and no way to even imagine what they could look like. Clownfish are hermaphrodite and, if the movie was realistic, Marlon and Finding Nemo would become a female and try to copulate with his son, as the mother was killed. Nemo only had one bad fin, I thought both fins had to be messed up for that sort of thing. Time scale stuff breaks my brain. Cleopatra lived closer in time to the building of the first Pizza Hut than to the building of the pyramids for example, to use a well known example. It was only 66 years between the first successful flight test by the Wright brothers and landing man on the moon. Human ingenuity knows no bounds when money isn't an issue and barriers are removed. Comma Cleopatra lived closer in time to the building of the first Pizza Hut than to the building of the pyramids for example, to use a well known example. Also the invention of the iPhone if I recall correctly. A sword made from the blood of your enemies is technically possible. If you separate the iron out of the blood of 300 adults, you could smelt it down to an iron ingot. This ingot would be enough to be used to create a long sword. I see how you got your username lol. Cannibalism is legal in 49 states. You can purchase parts through research. People donate their bodies to research and the researchers buy them, and after that you can eat it. Now, you can't mutilate a corpse, or murder someone to get the meat but as long as you purchase it legally, you can eat foot meat tacos right in front of the cops and they can't do anything about it. I mean they can try but you'll be let go if you bought everything properly. You could fit all the planets in the solar system between Earth and the moon at their average distance, with nearly 5000 miles to spare. Male reindeer lose their antlers in the winter but females don't. Therefore Santa's sleigh is pulled by a team of strong independent ladies. Male reindeer that have been castrated also don't drop their horns. These were as strong as regular male reindeer but less temperamental, meaning they were far more suitable for use as beasts of burden or working animals. So Santa's reindeers are probably meant to male, but without balls. The smell grass emits after it is getting cut actually has quite the purpose, 
It's supposed to mark whoever hurt the plant so that predators of the animal would eventually start to associate the smell with prey. Therefore grass is literally trying to kill us once you start hurting it. Pepsi purchased a military submarine after the Cold War. 1. Picasso and Alice Cooper were pen pals. 2. Paul McCartney and Bertrand Russell were dinner mates. 3. Abolitionist Harriet Tubman, during her life, lived at the same time as Thomas Jefferson and Ronald Reagan. 4. President Hoover met Hitler. President FDR met Stalin. 5. If Brooklyn was its own city, it would be the fourth largest city in the US, after NYC, LA, and Chicago. 6. The last living person who was the child of a Civil War veteran, died in June of 2020. Her father was 83 when she was born. 7. Orange County, California, has a population higher than 20 European countries. 8. Oliver Wendell Holmes met both John Quincy Adams and JFK. 9. The last living claimant of the Austro-Hungarian throne, died just 10 years ago. 10. Conrad Heer, the earliest born person ever to be photographed, was born 60 years before Abraham Lincoln, and 20 years before Napoleon. There is less meat in a Big Mac than a quarter pounder. I started my job at McDonald's and I had a shift on the grilling area. A trainer told me about how much meat is in each patty. The Big Mac uses two ten, one patties, which are both a tenth of a pound. The quarter pounder has a four, one, which is the quarter of the pound. Wow who knew. Therefore, the Big Mac has a fifth of a pound of meat while the quarter pounder has a quarter. If the earth were compressed to the point at which it would become a black hole, it would be about the diameter of a golf ball. Luis Jimenez was killed by the sculpture he created, Blue Mustang, otherwise known as Blue Cipher. A part of the sculpture fell on him and severed an artery in his leg. Man that airport is absolutely whack in terms of aesthetic and I'm all for it. Lemons aren't naturally occurring. They were created through the breeding of bitter oranges and citrons. So we made lemons, then made lemonade. Screw you life. I did about 2 months of research into subliminal messaging and mental health through virtual environments for my psych class. It is commonly known that negative messages in the morning can cause people's day to be ruined, and can heavily influence mood and work ethic. With my research and experiment, I found that the opposite is also true. You see, the problem lies with the different brain waves as you wake up. I'm no psychologist, and this paper was written a senior seminar ago, so I don't remember the waves exactly. The important part is that there are four waves your brain releases depending on consciousness. Going through all four are very important for your mental well-being. By looking at your phone in the morning, you skip from the fourth to the last wave, which leaves you mentally and emotionally vulnerable, as I mentioned. However, the opposite is true. I used a test group of five people, who all had diagnosed depression and or anxiety, as well as one participant having no history of depression or anxiety. Every night, at around 3 a.m., I would send them a text message personalized to each of them, with positive messages assuring them that they'll have a good day and that if times are hard, the best they can do is try their hardest. I put a lot of effort into these, and every week I checked in on them, taking into account changes in their personal lives. When I connected all the data, what I found was that all the people with anxiety and depression had significantly better work ethic, and took more initiative to solve their problems. They also noted slightly lowered levels of anxiety, and thought of self-harm were lowered, too. As for the participant who had no mental health problems, he noticed a general increase in positivity and work ethic, as well. So I guess of you have someone who's been really down lately, and you love them. Send them a text for when they wake up, the effects needed about a week to set in, and they cap out at around a month and a half in from what I noticed. This is not a cure to depression and anxiety, but it is a small thing that someone can do for a loved one. It's a study that has made me realize that I want to use my computer science degree to help people's mental health, and why I decided to get my masters in computer science and get a degree in psychology while I'm at it. Technology had proven itself to be bad for humanity's mental health, 
and it's time someone tried to fix it. I don't think I'm that man, but I'd sure as heck like to help pave the road for the guy that is. TLDR. Encouraging messages to be read as soon as someone wakes up is a great way to slightly help someone through their mental health problems. Still in early developing in the womb, human embryos specifically react to three light points shaping an upside down triangle. That's the basic, primary geometry of a human face. Humans are prepared to distinguish human faces among other stimuli. We're truly social animals, aren't we? In Rwanda, witchcraft is considered cheating in sports, especially in association football, soccer if you're from the USA, Japan, and Australia etc. The punishment if caught ranges from fine to suspensions. This was due to many complaints from other teams about such usage. In 2016, Musa Kamara was playing for Rayon Sports when he ran to the goal of rival Mukira. It wasn't clear, but the goalie caught Kamara and informed the rest of Mukira. A chase got involved, but Kamara got away. Mukira complained that Kamara went Harry Potter. There are footages of this. It mostly in French though, with the commentary team was laughing. While it sounds petty, but in countries, like Rwanda, witchcraft is taken seriously. Doctor. Ruth, the sex doctor was trained as a sniper in the Israeli military, and Bob Ross, that painter was an Air Force drill instructor. Was gonna add that I heard that Mr. Rogers was in the Navy SEALs, but I fact checked and apparently that is false. We can only ever prove if extraterrestrial life exists, we can never prove it doesn't exist, but just because we haven't made contact with them or them with us doesn't mean they don't exist. So maybe someday we might be able to prove they do exist, but we'll never be able to prove they don't exist. Let's talk about Bigfoot now. This may not seem like much but it blew my mind when I first learned it. What do you think is the animal group, or subphylum, vertebrates, hagfish, sharks, bony fish, amphibians, reptiles, humans? ETC, are most closely related to, it's not Cephalochordata, which is composed of almost transparent animals very similar in shape to fish fry, but Eurochordata, aka sea squirts, they're jar-like marine filter feeders, and the only animals capable of making cellulose, which up to that point was believed to be exclusive to plants and algae, the absolute closest relatives to all vertebrates are not the strikingly fish-shaped ones. But the things that can make cellulose and look like a mix between an alien and a clay vase gone wrong. Also earthworms pee through their skin lol. I love this comment from beginning to end. Women's sanitary pads have come a long way in history. In the 1700s they made special aprons to try and hit it. Early 1900s women were using rags similar to baby nappies to disguise it. In the 1920s during the war nurses figured out cotex cured bandages were much more absorbing so they used them with a belt made specially for holding it. In 1929 the first tampon was invented. In the 1930s menstrual cups were invented but many women felt it was a backwards concept so it wasn't popular. In 1970 pad companies started using adhesive backing. The 1980s are to blame for advertising with blue liquid. To show absorbency. Motorcycle helmets tested by the American Department of Transportation. Dot. Have not been tested by the dot. They have to be tested by a third party and helmet manufacturers can and do shop around for testers with loose standards. Their standards are also based off of car crashes, not motorcycles. Making your motorcycle helmet dot standard mean dong all. For a safer helmet consider resource now. Comma motorcycle helmets tested by the American Department of Transportation. Dot. Have not been tested by the dot. Boy that's a fallacy if I ever heard one. If they weren't tested by the dot then they weren't tested by the dot. I think you meant to say motorcycle helmets tested to pass the American Department of Transportation. Dot. Standard have not been tested by the dot. Some of Hitler's worst enemies in World War II were balloons. During mid to late World War II, the Allies set up a plan called the Ghost Army, comprised of talented artists, voice actors and movie play set designers. They would create highly realistic fake tanks, 
usually inflatable, and have the actors accidentally leak a plan of attack to the Nazis over the radio. The Allies would go to where they said they'd be over the radio way ahead of time and set up their fake war equipment. Usually these were decked out with more fake radio calls and a speaker playing a recording of tanks. The Nazis would roll in, rain hellfire upon the scene, only to realize that they just shot a bunch of cardboard and balloons. While this was happening, the Allies would scramble to a critical point that's unoccupied, since the Nazis were being bamboozled. Western music tuning is imperfect. When you tune a piano you have to tune each interval to each other resulting in certain notes being sharp or flat in reference to the equal temper tuning we can derive mathematically. Thus, the well-tempered clavier. F1 engine are more than twice as efficient as normal engines and still waste around 50% of the potential power. They have top speeds of 320 kmh, 200 mph. They have 1000 HP and they can downshift from 8th speed to 2nd speed in about 1 second. Imagine the stats with 100% power efficiency. They have top speeds of 320 kmh, 200 mph. You need to update your data. Current top speed is 378 km per hour, 234.878 mph, set by Volteri Bottas during 2016 European Grand Prix qualifying. There's almost 40 billion liters of human blood on Earth. That's enough to make 80,000 cubic kilometers of blood clouds, or enough to form a 15 centimeter thick layer of blood mist over the entire planet's surface. You're welcome. Woody Harrelson's dad was the first man to assassinate a federal judge and is often suspected of doing in JFK. The term assassin if you trace its original etymology with the medieval equivalent of a pothead. It got associated with killing people because a man named Hassan Sabah used drugs to control fanatics and point them at his enemies. This inspired every assassination guild in fiction. His sect is still around today and led by a dude from Portugal. Nick Cage's uncle directed The Godfather. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.